kind of business. Tell us about this way to talk first. Tech Club TV is brought to you by Clearbooks. Online accounting to free your time. new thing in terms of the law, social media, and how the law impacts on social media. Can you tell us a bit more about the kind of social media, the law, and small businesses, startups? Yeah. Uh, well, there's a, there's a misconception that there's a whole different set of laws that apply to the internet, and uh, the reality is that whilst there are a few specific laws in relation to the internet, uh, that most of the laws are actually existing laws which are now being applied to the internet. Um, I think the, the big difference with social media is two elements. And the, the first is that with it being internet based, it's not just the laws of the UK that become relevant, but uh, the laws of many different countries become relevant. And uh, many of the laws internationally vary, that the laws in the US differ from the laws in the UK, and the same even across Europe. Uh, and so businesses have to be aware of the laws of many different jurisdictions. Uh, the, the second element is, particularly with social media, is the, the two-way interaction. You know, companies are now not just publishing material themselves, but they're inviting material back from their users, and that's creating a, a two-way di dialogue, and companies can be liable for material uh, which they uh, hold from their customers or their visitors to their website, or, or for material hosted uh, by uh, those users. Right, and what are the main legal considerations for SMEs? If you can give us maybe a, a checklist for the main things that um, you know small businesses need to be thinking about in terms of legality of yeah. starting a new business. Well, I think the, the, the real starting point when, a, when an SME is first starting out is to make sure that they get the uh, contractual documentation in place at the outset. Uh, I think um, that that extends to, uh, to shareholders' agreements, in the correct memorandum and articles of the company, providing for exit arrangements. So, you know, one of uh, common scenarios for two uh, young businessmen entrepreneurs to go into business together, have a very exciting new idea, but they don't think about how they are going to separate if one of them decides to go off and do something else a year later. Uh, so, it's getting the uh, those kind of contract uh, contracts in place at the outset. Uh, the other thing is that there's a minefield of rules in relation to attracting third-party funding. Uh, that's an important, important consideration. Uh, so that's the outset, is, is getting uh, the foundations in place, privacy policies, terms and conditions, so that they're up and running to begin with. Then there's a separate body of uh, rules to consider, which is the potential liability the company might face. Uh, and that may be, for example, advertising, which it puts on its website. Uh, for example, the, the, the Advertising Standards Authority has just extended its remit to cover social media. Uh, it may also be liable for third-party content, so if it hosts a discussion forum or a re review or feedback mechanism, it can potentially be liable for material posted by third-party users. So a startup would be completely responsible for comments made by you know their users and their network on their website? Potentially, yes. If they, if they receive a complaint about, for example, a defamatory statement, on their website, which a third party has posted, then they, can, if they don't remove it or take action against it, they can be potentially liable for that, and that can be very costly, particularly for uh, an SME. Tech Club TV is brought to you by Clearbooks. Online accounting to free your time.